second K1 title of the evening here and contender ZA now on the line fighting out of the red corner and exiles Scott Butters his opponent tonight from optimum in the blue corner Sean Byrne and both these guys very well known to our crowd here both of them appear on the show very regularly and both, both of them having uh, quite a bit of MMA experience Tomek yeah they do a <laughs> bit of a knockdown there straight away but it's interesting to note that Sean has quite a bit of experience in both Taekwondo and kickboxing. He's a very proficient level black belt in both arts. Yeah, his stand-up is definitely uh, Sean's forte. And it must be said, both guys are actually friends and they know each other. Um, and they just said, look, let's just do it. It's just business. Let's do the fight. And obviously the Exiles team, I mean, just so many great fighters in that stable. And I've seen Scott Butters fight before. He always brings it until the very last moment of every single round. So. Yeah, Scott really needs to keep his hands up here, just sort of going for this wild swing and exchange. He's kind of to do that with a technical fighter like Sean. That's a very good point. It'll be interesting to see how Butters approaches this game plan and attempt to dissect the wide range of tools that his opponent possesses. And Sean Byrne doing very nicely with some long straight punches, employing his sort of domination of the distance, but he gets clipped there, though. Yeah, we have seen that is uh, Sean's style. He likes to fight on distance gets a you lost that jag and that leg people just saw there that but it, but it might be butter's ability to time that and then get in quickly well don't know what his game plan is i'm sure he's been uh, practicing in preparation for this fight it's a title fight five two minute rounds it's a long fight ten minutes it's a long time to be in the cage and obviously with this k1 rule set quite a few strikes being exchanged back and forth those kicks already possibly taking the toll on their lead leg of butters yeah they certainly have a few of those have landed now and a solid inside, outside leg kick attack coming in from Mr. Sean Byrne. And a couple of nice checks too. It's nice to see some defense before offense, Tony. 
Yeah, they are. Yeah, I think uh, Scott definitely didn't like those leg kicks. and started to flirt with the idea of a check. I haven't seen a solid check yet. Both guys just seem Ooh. quite happy to be standing in front of us here and just exchanging. As the sweat goes flying off of both fighters' chins, connecting neatly with a couple of hooks there. Early days, but plenty of action here in this title bout. Round number two of five. Pretty close, first round. And some good exchanges from both fighters. Yeah, it certainly was, I would say. Sean coming back just a little bit ahead in my unofficial scorecard there. And the champion doing very nicely there to break cleanly. And I like how he enters with that inside leg kick. Some guys are a little bit too committed with that technique, but Sean does a good job of sort of keeping his chin at a distance if he chooses to come in with that lead leg kick and then follow it up with a couple of nice strikes. Yeah, he's definitely uh, taking control of distance here in the fight. But as he's uh, obviously wanted to fight on the inside, he wants to make it dirty, a bit of dirty boxing, a bit of brawling, but Sean's having none of it. Utilizing his footwork really well. Oh, big uppercut there from Sean. And that right connecting beautifully to the chin of his opponent, Scott Butters. And the Exiles fighter experiencing a bit of early frustration here in round two. And again, it's that range that the optimum fighter is able to establish. Our champ doing a really nice job of dictating this pace so far. Yeah, he's showing why he's the champion here in Norwich tonight. I would like to see Butters open up a little bit there, and he does. He needs to do a bit, bit more than that. Punches and bunches, few combinations, not just single strikes. And Byrne, obviously a champion in K1, also a champion in MMA. He brings a real good ability to perform on demand. And you're witnessing that right here in the center ring. He's ex-Royal Air Force, I believe, as well as British Army. So a guy who's used to hard work and discipline and obviously being oh, very committed as a professional. Oh, definitely, his uh, cardio is always top notch, always comes prepared. I mean, just look at him, look at, the, look at his body, there's not an ounce of fat on him. Clearly a guy who lives as a true martial artist, I believe practicing for well over a decade and teaching at least half of that. Really close fight here, really difficult to, to uh, score this. Yeah, especially here in the second round with both fighters choosing to sort of stand in the middle. It's interesting to see that all that spacing outside of the ring and neither fighter really chasing each other, Tomek. Both of them willing to stand and trade. And it's round three of this K1 title bout. Good acknowledgement from both corners as they hit the center of the ring. It's a fight, Tomek. It certainly is, and obviously both fighters' corners had words on that because Scott comes out strong. And Impressive. a fine sense of urgency, really, from Scott. Really winding up on those punches. I think he knows he's got to take it to the champ. The, always, the old argument is you got to take the belt. Yeah, you definitely have to beat the champion to be the champion. Scott doing a good job here, being aggressive. Both guys showing their experience in the early rounds of pacing themselves. This is a five round, two minute fight, so 10 minutes is a long time to fight and keep that pace. Especially when you're cutting weight. I mean, when dehydration is a factor, breathing's affected. It's oh. neat to see these guys are two professionals really taking it uh, with a good sense of, of commitment and their preparation for what's really an amateur bout. Yeah, you're certainly right there. Both guys proving quite heavily now. And I think Sean is just getting just a little better of these exchanges. He's landing just a little bit more. He's landing just a few more shots than Scott. But Butter's still very viable with that big right hand coming over. I feel like he's trying to play possum a bit and try to get Burn in because the distance is not there if he engages on Burn's terms. Yeah, quite a crazy exchange there and Burn's winding up on top. And Burn needs to stay clinical here and very disciplined to his game plan. There you go, see that? He was obviously coming forward with that little tie hop, and then obviously swap stances to negate the incoming leg kick. Sean swinging wildly there. Oh, goodness. 
both guys just brawling. And Butter's a real grinder, as I said. I've seen him fight recently in MMA, and I just could not believe the amount of heart he brings to each fight. Ooh, big stiff jab, snapping in there from Byrne twice. Now nearly flooring his opponent in Butters. Yeah, Sean Byrne having a lot of success with that jab. And landing nicely continually as the champ. Finding his rhythm. Still got tons of energy, but Butters is pressing the action. Great fight for both these guys. Toe-to-toe -to -toe affair. Let's see what happens in the championship rounds. Round four of five. With the temperature rising here in this title bout, quite literally, the sweat pouring off both of these fighters in what's been a cracking toe-to-toe -to -toe bout thus far, Tony. Beautiful combination from Butters there. He needs more of that. Leg kick, left hook to the body. Having some success here. But Sean just, uh, these, sh these shots just glancing off him, not really having much of an effect. And Scott Butters really swinging for the fences with those double hook combinations. He certainly is. And again, Sean Burns' jab, having a lot of success with that, managed to catch Butters in it pretty much every time. It's interesting to see that Byrne knows when he enters, sort of linearly, that that jab is gonna be there. I'd like to see some more lateral movement from, from, uh, from really from both fighters, but more importantly, yeah. Butters to get around that jab. It is quite surprising that both guys that are weight, you know, it's a you know, lightweight, the lightweight's normally famous for uh, being quite light on the feet as we have a bit of a wardrobe mode function here. And we're back to the action. But there's certainly been a consistency of willingness to take that position in the center and, and throw those bombs. Oh, my goodness, Scott Butters, <laughs> left hook lands solid. Wow. Burn wobbled. And I was gonna say Burns on Wobble Street as Butters really hammers home. One could make the argument that three rounds deep, it was the champ that was edging this fight, but. Yeah, Sean Byrne not doing a wise thing here. He's opting out to slug with the slugger. He really needs to go back to his game plan, fighting this fight at distance. He really is wobbly on his feet. Scott Butters tastes blood, oh my goodness. And Butters really cranking those shots, turning in to get that power on those strikes. It's total fury here in the middle of this ring. Someone has to take advantage. Something has to give Tomek. Oh, definitely. What a round. We've got one more round of this. And Burns, unable to parry those shots, just keeps trudging forward like a soldier in the trenches. But Butters, running back to his corner, arms wide open, clearly digging this fight, Tomek. What an outstanding title affair. as both of these fighters embrace in the middle of the ring. It's been the ring craft of the champ, but the killer instinct of the challenger, Tomek. Yeah, Butters has definitely brought this fight. He had a really successful fourth round. That was definitely the best round that he's had. Had a lot of success with his hooks there. He really needs more of that. He, he cannot be this passive now. He needs to turn it on, and there he goes. This is what he needs. And Butters using those elements again to really try and take it to the champ here. He might be in a position where he has to finish this fight. Then again, obviously if he gets a count, that could also be in his favor, taking the round by an increased margin. Yeah, definitely, but on my unofficial scorecard, Butters is down three rounds, so. Yeah, he needs to make something special happen here. But these guys just putting on a beautiful display of heart here. But the question is, is the champ being lulled into that exchange that favors Butters as this round continues? Yeah, I saw he's caught having a firm word with him saying, look, keep it distance, keep it technical, that's what he needs. Keep your hands up. As another hook from Butters lands. 
And Burns showing a bit of head movement, trying to slip off that center line and sort of control these exchanges. You gotta give it to the champ though, you know, when you're up a few rounds, he's still trying to go in there and finish this fight. Oh, of course. Oh dear, that's what buys me, he's more of that. Oh my goodness. Crazy <laughs> oh, exchange. Big left hook, big left jab from Butters. And another right and a left. How is Sean Burns still left standing? Oh my goodness. It's Burns' ability to recover. That has really become legendary as this fight unfolds. This might be the fight of the night thus far, Tommy. It's definitely looking that way. I mean, Burns' head is just made of concrete. He's just like a punch bag here. Butters is just unloading on him. It's, it's having no effect. And the crowd cheering in this packed venue. The atmosphere is electric for this K1 title matchup. Man, that's one of those fights where I'd like to see yet another round, Tomek. Outstanding stuff. What a fight. What a brutal fight. Let's see who our next champion is.